I'm Yena. I'm Denise. And, and we're, we're to Hipstar. So today, we'll be doing something very interesting that I've seen online, which is essentials that you need in your closet. So we'll be showing you some of our favourites that actually we use on a daily basis and what could actually spice up your closet fashion that you need in your daily life. So you actually can use all these tips and whatever that we try out. Hope you like it and, and let's, let's get started. started. So firstly, we'll be hopping into our first one which is the colour jackets and mainly why we chose these is because if you've seen us, we've been wearing a lot of colour jackets and actually it's a very good um, piece that actually can spice up your outfit. Yeah, we think that having like a few coloured jackets will actually be good because sometimes like, for example, if you like wearing black, just adding something like this orange jacket that I just got from, not just got from Pull and Bear actually you can actually just spice up your you know, fashion game so it looks a bit more brighter instead of just wearing black all the time so it's actually very simple for example you're wearing something black on top and just maybe all black and you can just put on this color jacket like this, orange and then you have also blue and green you just look really good with like any outfit yes so for me is that if you want to get a color jacket get a color jacket that has like a favorite color. For me, I have a purple jacket which I really, really like because obviously I love purple. And we have other colors yeah. as well because having multiple color jackets will actually be good for you. For example, if you're experimenting to try to add colors to your closet, I think color jackets would be the first thing that you should experiment on. Yeah. Because so like the first step that you can do is choose maybe your favorite color that you want and you buy that first. Because for us, we've been, I mean, we're kind of obsessed with jackets, so we kind of collect different color jackets. But if you want to start out, start out with the colours that you like. So for me personally, I started out with blue, which didn't run out way much from the denim jacket. But you know, later on you can build up your collection and then it's gonna be good. So the few that we will be showing you today, we had actually have a lot, a handful, but I'll be showing you one which is the orange one. And then so we have the red one as well. well. This is really nice, can match anything. I mean, if you like to play with colours, you can put this red and another colour on top. It looks really good as well. And we have a green. This is more on like the army green like colour. Khaki colour. It's not really yeah. bright. So it's really nice and you have the very like... The thing we like by right? Yeah, because so. like, for example, if you wear like a brown pants bead, it would match really really well. Yeah, even in orange is really nice. Another thing I have is, I have another purple jacket which is a darker one, but this one is a double purple one which is like a lilac colour as well as a dark deep purple itself so it's really nice because the purple itself is like a jigsaw puzzle and stuff and this could be like a staple piece when you're wearing like in the whole outfit itself so this one of what was I was talking about the one that I say I bought it like didn't really run out from the denim one. one so this blue it's not really too bright or really too dark so it really matches really well with anything black, white so it's really nice it's also for Pooh and Bear um, I really like Pooh and Bear's jackets from there, actually that colour jacket, the cutting is really nice, the colour is beautiful as well as like how long it is, it's like it's just perfect. Yeah. So the next thing we go to is bags. We essentially love to use these two bags for quite some time. I've been using this bag for around a year plus, maybe even two. It's not a year. <laughs> okay, it's been more. Two years. It's this cute bag. So we purchased <coughs> both of these at the same time. Uh, mine's a penny bag. More like a small, small square bag. bag. So this bag I really love is because it looks really small but it's really spacious. It built inside. I really like this because it's firstly it's because it's big. Secondly, it's easy to match because it's black. It's so easy to bring around, super light, and it's waterproof as well. So it's super nice to use in any weather. For me, this bag is very simple. I like it because, for example, if I go traveling for like different trips. I even can put like water bottle inside because it's really really white. I should wear mostly every outfit that I wear so I mean now I tend to try different like to use different bags but still this is like one of my staple pieces. Yeah. I recommend you to get one of these kind of bags either a fanny pack or a small square bag would be really nice for you to just go out you know for a while and just you know bring this bag along just put some stuff in it. I mean a lot of you guys I know do not actually even hold bags but if you want to start up using bags, definitely try out fanny bags or sling bags and try out bags so you can match with all your outfits if you do not want to like spend all your money on different different type of bags. So yeah, that's what I recommend. Yes. So the next one I'll be introducing is socks. For me is I think socks is really a big essential in your closet. For example, if you love wearing, you know, crazy colored, you know, 
tops or bottoms or even plain tee. I think socks could just spice up your fashion game from zero to like hundred. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. From here I have one pair of color socks. So one's like a sky blue, mine's is like a mustard yellow, which is really really cute. Having colored socks in your closet is so important because it will just spice up your whole fit. Like the socks itself will just make your whole feet come together really well. So if you want to take it to the next level, you can just pair out different colours together. Left and right, different colour will make your outfit really nice. So I think a lot of guys always ask us how do we get these kind of socks. Actually just taking two different colour socks and just wearing one side of it. Look really really nice. Socks you really like pattern socks or graphic socks, get this kind of socks. So it's actually just pattern socks on it. Uh, you can see there's a lot the scream itself, you know. This is the screen. And the reason why I like this socks is for example if you're not sure what kind of inspiration to wear on a certain day, you can actually take inspiration from your socks itself. If I'm planning to wear these socks, I'll look at the colour that I have here like green and orange and I'll do a fit based on the colours of the socks. That's one great tip for you guys who don't know how to you know pair coloured fits together. So if you have a sock itself, go to the colours, extract the colours out and you can build a fit from there. So Actually, this one's very easy to pair with. We just put on a simple top, simple shirt, put this on, so like this is like kind of highlight of your whole outfit. I really like it. Other socks as well. Something that's more simple, that's not really patterned, but it's just like wordings on top. Yes. It's up to you what kind of socks you want. We got these socks from Korea, which is pretty easy to find. Bangkok has a lot of socks too. I think in your country, or online shops have a lot as well. You can choose from different variations of your likings and you know, Build your feet from there. So the third one would be our shoes. It's the top shoes that we find that you need actually into your closet. So the first one is definitely never ever forget your boots. Like if you know me, like your boots is like my essential. If anything with jeans, with skirt, with shorts, even with like long dresses. The boots go well with anything. If you just look a little bit more badass, just get the boots itself because boots just look so tough and I feel like if you just pair it with jeans, you make like your whole outfit look really different. Especially if you get like those high cut boots, yeah. it look really really nice with it. So if you want to get something simple to match up with any outfit like with orange top or with green top, black boots will fit the best. The next thing I have is sneakers, which is the bands. I think it's essential. I think you need, if you want to talk about getting a Vans, you either get like a high cut Vans like this or you get a low one. I don't have a low one but I really like, love the high cut and I just did a like customization for my shoelace so it looks a little bit different. Having Vans look really really good because it just goes so well with any streetwear fit. And you know, we even bought like the colour ones which is so pretty because if you like wearing colour fits, Colour ones just spice up your outfit even more. So if you're a really simple kind of person who likes to wear just t-shirts and jeans, Vans is definitely one thing that you need in your closet. Okay, if you don't have a Vans, you have a Converse as well. It'd be really nice as well. If you don't have a high cut Vans, a high cut Converse it looks really good as well. Yeah, so if you want to make something different, do you like her where she customizes your lace? The last one would be um, the loafers. I mean, I bought one from Monkey and it's really, really cute. You can see that's like a little small design up here. I, uh, from the website, I see they have more, but only on the offline shop they have this. But it's really, really cute. You can suit anything as well. For like vintage, if you like those 90s fashion, more of like the vintage style, um, brown and tones, you know. Because it looks just really classy, really smart. So I think this one really fit really well. Yeah, and if you're really into like K style, where you wear like long skirts and those very girly style, this one really, really suit well as well. Put on the long socks. It would be really really cute. Or oh, like cute dresses as well. Mm. Cute dresses would suit really well. For me, I definitely pair out with this with just plain pants and maybe a jacket on top. Soft tone colours like brown, like pink, pistol. It would be really cute, yeah. And last but not least is I guess one of the most important things that you really need in your closet is the bottom, which is jeans and coloured pants. So Firstly, I'll go with jeans. It's definitely getting jeans that has like some graphics on it. So you can see that this one, I have some graphics on it. Design or a staple word, like this one is so cool. Because it looks so simple, but just having two words on the both of the jeans makes it look so really, really nice. nice. Yeah. So it's kind of a wash off color, but it's really, really cute. It's a high-waisted jean. But right at the bottom, it's actually just very fitting to your um, legs. So it's really nice to wear with any 
like jackets like this and crop top inside or even like a tube would be really nice and one more is for Monkey you can see it's all faces on it and it's really really cute when I first saw it I was like yo this is really really nice if you know me I always wear my pants high waisted I don't really like um, low cut pants it's just not my thing this is very very cute I feel like high waisted it. pants is so cute because if you just go with like a really cute crop top it just look super cute yeah. and I just like high waisted another thing is checker pants if you love checker pants we have oh, multiple yes. checker pants I'll just bring it out one for you just to show you like example of checker pants so this is one of my favorite checker pants it's a purple, I don't know, like dark blue checker pants is really really cute. I think checker pants are really really pretty or you call plate pants. It's really pretty because if you are a simple person, you don't know what to wear, you just want to look really good and like, oh, I just want to wear something nice, just go out. You know, get a checker pants, wear a plain top, it will look really really cute. You know, grab a band and you just complete your look. The checker pants is essential that you need in your closet and you need it like right now. It's I know you guys a lot like uh, black and white color, so that's one thing they should get first black and white checker pants to start off your checker collection if you like this. So, yeah, you should definitely get black and white checker pants. Next is the colored pants, right? We mentioned that if you already have checker pants and you're like, oh, okay, I'm ready to wear colored pants. Because not many people like wearing colored pants, honestly. Most people like wearing denims, black jeans, skinny jeans, maybe like a blue pants. But I've rarely seen lots of people wearing colored pants like to wear full pants i think that you got to be really like oh i really want to wear a colored pants itself so for me is once you're ready get a colored pants doesn't matter if it's purple orange yellow brown but i think colored pants is so nice it's like a staple piece in your closet for example you want purple you can wear it with darker purple you can wear it with a crop top and then wear a jacket on top you can even pair it with a contrasting color like orange it looks super cute. If you really want to experiment with colors especially, buy a colored bottom, maybe like a yellow one, a purple one, experiment colors for me. For me, I love colored pants because it's so easy to match. I love wearing colors, I mean, I do wear black as well, but if I want to wear colors, I love colored pants, purple, yellow, you know. If you really, really want to amp up your fashion game, trying something different, you're stepping out of your comfort zone from the black, white, denim color, Try starting with getting just one colored pants. Yes. Doesn't matter, maybe you like yellow, get a yellow one and then maybe experiment from there. That's how we start. We just start with one color of that we just grow from there. So you can either start with your favorite color like I mentioned before, or you start with a color that you think that's easiest to match with most of the clothes that you have. Maybe you want yellow. If you don't like super bright yellow, get a more pastel yellow. I think it looks really good as well. Just try something different. Get a color, I guess. So that's the end of the video of the essentials that you need in your closet and the essentials that we really really use in our closet. So I hope you guys really like it. I hope you guys got inspired by you know the advice that we gave you that you can amp up your fashion game in your closet. Yeah, try colors. Yes. Try, try different styles. Pants. Socks. Socks you know? as well. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. You know anything related to what you can, what you want to add in your closet, just add down below. If you don't want to comment down below, you can find us on Instagram at lostsky at unread to ask any more questions more personally. And yeah, hope you guys like it. Give a like and thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And that is all for today. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.